2009, and uh, we're using quite a few tracks, finding quite a bit of drugs, and uh, we, we have them come out and uh, do those kind of things. One of the things, the reasons why we use a uh, German Shepherd is their nose, as far as the period are, and they can smell a lot more with it because the old factory glands in there are much more than ours, and the brain that interprets that is larger than ours. Now, a gunny is a little different than your normal house pet because everything in a house pet that you want, I want the opposite. I want them to jump on top of you. I want them to jump on their furniture. And I want them to throw on the leash. So he's not, even though he does come home with me, but he's not in the house like a normal house pet. He has a separate pen and I have a crate for him in the basement when it's bad weather. So uh, what we're gonna do today is, uh, as soon as Officer Keller gets out here, we're gonna have him, we're gonna do a, a quick bite. And then we're going to uh, basically it'll be a, a two bite or three bites. One will be up close, like I'm doing an interview. Oscar is going to snap the uh, the bite sleeve in. The dog's going to take that as a threat to me. He's going to go and bite it. The second two bites will be a little bit farther out. We'll make Gunny lay down, make sure he's listening to what I have to say, and then we're going to the bite. A lot of things we do that just shows control. The dog, the dog has to listen. He can't be barking. Um, and we'll go from there. Now before we can bite anyone, we have to have a reason to bite him. We have to have three things. One is the seriousness of the, of the crime, you know, a violent felony. Two, the, uh, the act of eluding police or hiding. And three, if we don't apprehend them immediately, they're a threat to the community. If we have those three things, then we can do a bite. If we don't, we can't do a bite scenario. But I still can go out and look for people that are lost or whatnot, which we've done before and found them. But I just have to keep back in the leash a bit just that way so I don't get a bite. Because Gunny doesn't look at it as your someone needs to be saved or a bad guy, they're all the same. And part of that with his bites, he does it like catching a frisbee or a football. It's all fun to him. Uh, for the, the narcotic side, we also can search up to uh, 11 different types of drugs. Um, as you can see, different from the fire dog just out here, Gunny is a lot more high strung. His energy is a lot higher, um, and his fight's a lot higher. But they don't need that in the fire side, so we have, this is why we have a, a dual purpose dog. Now I have a cruiser that's specially outfitted for coming in the back. There's some fans in there, there's a cage, there's no back seat. Uh, there's some thermometers in there that if it gets too hot, the windows roll down, the fan turns on, the horn starts beeping, just that way to make sure the dog's protected. Uh, We'll go from there. The same type. <laughs> now I use it twice for Gunny. Gunny gets treats when he does something right. If he does something wrong, he gets nothing. Until he can figure it out. That way when he's treated with something, he wanted to make sure he works for it. <laughs> Die ball. <laughs> <laughs> 
Don't be worried. <laughs> 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 He's gonna let him go. Yeah. 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 Yeah.